All right, hey guys, it's Spooks. Uh, so I know I said I was gonna finish uh, Alan Wake uh, episode three the other day and I totally forgot to do that. So I'm recording again a different day. Uh, the videos are gonna be uploaded on the same day though, but uh, that's why I have a change of clothes if anyone is like, why is she now wearing a green, a green sweatshirt? Um, yeah, that's why. So anyway, uh, we're gonna continue where we left off, or at least where the game will let us leave off. Uh, hopefully it's not too far back. Uh, I guess we will find out here in a second. I'm gonna cry though if it's like way, way, way back. Oh, okay. So it's like, damn. I just took some damage. Speed this. Again. I actually don't know. I can't remember which one is. It doesn't matter. We've already we've already read it the first time. So uh, let's see here. Where I am assuming some shit is about to go down. but I don't know where. Let's pick up some more ammo. All right, we're uh, we're Gucci. All right, there's something in here. Oh, flashbangs, perfect. Wish I had those a little bit earlier, but uh, it's fine. Worked. I thought I fucked up. 
I meant to throw it in the hole. Uh, I did not throw it in the hole. But we got what we needed, so uh, it's 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 fine. What the hell? The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Go through which building? Oh. That's a... We still had a flashbang left. Uh, hopefully, we don't need another flashbang because uh, that could have gone very badly. Okay. Let's uh, turn off the power, I guess. I got a bad feeling about this man. To tell you. Should have used a shotgun on him. Okay, let's uh, keep mosing forward. Slowly but surely, it wins the race. here. That would be a very bad thing. Because I have a feeling we'd have to do all of that over again. Perfect. 
spot for an ambush. I see something glittering over here. Ooh, ammo and batteries. Perfect. Jesus fucking fuck. Let's, uh, let's continue. I guess we have to go up. God, this is so out of the way. My goodness. Ooh, perfect. A thermos. All right, let's read what this manuscript page has to say. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the Dark Presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Spooky. I'm assuming we... God damn. Alright, we don't need batteries. We do need ammo. And I'm assuming we need to go that way. There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. All right, what's uh, what's over here? Is there anything important over here? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Burn it all. Alright, um, I think we need to go this way. Uh. Surprise, bitch!
big boy. Show me what you got. forward. I think I see a page up here. I do see a page up here. All right. Man, they really got the aesthetic of uh, Washington. I absolutely love it. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Sounds like a personal problem, honestly. I see barrels. I don't see much else. I think we need to continue that way, so we're gonna check in here and see if there's Yeah, there's a supply case. Let's fucking go. Oh, I will take those. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Flashbangs. I meant to actually use the flare, but uh, it's fine. That flashbang uh, saved my fucking life. Ooh. Oh! <gasps> it's fine. It was graceful. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise, Wake. Shotgun ammo. I will take that. Maybe we can actually use our fucking shotgun. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Ooh, pump action. Hell yeah. I don't know which way I need to go. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, shit, I did not mean to- 
I think we continue this way. All that over again? Fuck my life. Okay. okay. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. that was back here. No sense in wasting it, you know? Or not wasting it, losing it. All right, Alan. Let's, uh, let's fuck some people up, right? movement. Right? I don't know. Give me that fucking ammo. Flare gun ammo. Perfect. Alright, we should probably use our shotgun. fire that flare gun. That was, uh, that was my bad.
anybody else? No? Alright. Fuck off. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Uh. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. I'm sorry, what? Oh my god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh my god, I'm stuck. I can't. Okay. That was some bullshit. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. You want to you want to slow down a bit? There we go. Jesus Christ. Anything in this uh, dilapidated building? Okay, uh, let's keep moving forward. I think we go that way. The place was dead, a ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Oh, just kidding, we have to go that way. Let me just see if there's anything. There's nothing. Nothing in there. Don't think we can get in there. the fucking skin of my skin on my back chin on my hair hair on my chin something like that things were never as simple in real life as in fiction i had lost count of the times i had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block something to fight something to lash out on there wasn't i was filled with doubt i was nothing like the hero in my books Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself, angry at Alice, angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Sounds like a personal problem, man. Don't blame other people in your life. Woo! <sighs> Gray Peak Gorge. Originally founded in 1928, the Grey Peak Gorge mining town was one of the permanent settlements the Bright Falls Mining Community Company built for its workers. The nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers the miners faced on a daily basis. Most of the men who lost their lives over the years here were buried there. A grim reminder to be careful for those who remained. Grey Peak Gorge was abandoned almost overnight when the Bright Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970. Fascinating, truly. Let's see if there's anything in here, maybe. The thermos, I'll take that, thank you. And 
some batteries, but we don't need any. All right, we're almost there, we're almost there. These inanimate objects fucking attacking me. So, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Damn inanimate objects. That did not sound good. Alright. We should be closing in on where we need to go. Motherfucker! Fine, Alan. Just fucking chill out. We have no flare guns. Are we done? Can we chill? Fucker. Go in here. No. I needed a key for the door. Yeah, you know what? I need some goddamn peace and company. Or peace of mind, not company. Fuck company. I don't need company. Let's grab the thermos. Wish I could go back and get those fucking batteries now, but that's a little far back. Cozy place. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. 
I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. He looks like a madman in that fucking video. I kind of like my shotgun. I don't really want to switch to a hunting rifle. I guess if we need to, we will. If I get the absolute shit kicked out of me, we will switch to the fucking rifle. But I think, I, I mean, I prefer the shotgun over the rifle, so. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Insults. I don't like that something's breathing. And it's not me. This isn't safe at all. I can't see shit. stabbed at my brain. I gotta get out of here. 
I don't think we can go into the water. The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Well. Alright, so it looks like we have to go back. We can't go that way. I doubt we can swim in the water. I mean, I could be wrong. We might be able to, but uh, I don't. I don't think so. I think we have to go this way. Take those, thank you. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. No, I don't think we will. Thanks for holding that for me, man. I really appreciate that. Ooh, a thermos. Thank you. What's up here? Nothing. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. I mean, we gotta be getting close to the exit here, right? Right? You know, I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. This kind of reminds me of being in the mines in Silent Hill Downpour. Just a little bit. It's not exactly the same, but it, it vaguely reminds me of it. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, I just killed him. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft right. in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Yeah, 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 sure. All right, um, this might be a little challenging. I'm not very good when it comes to puzzles, so, uh, 
Where do we... We need to get up there. Or wait a minute. Okay, I see. I see what we gotta do. Okay. Ooh. Perfect. Perfect. And then I think... What's up here? I think we have to move it one more time. Yeah, we do. Okay. We're doing great. Look at me figuring out puzzles. And it only took me two tries. After falling to my death. Should be able to get out of this now. Damn, Alan's having a rough go of it. Poor guy. Nothing behind me. Perfect. Let's see where down. Hell yeah. Alright, is there anything down here? Alright, looks like... Yeah, yeah that's right. You get the fuck away from me. Okay. Uh, let's continue. I think we need to access the thingamabobber in order to take it. I think that's what we need to do. Kind of look around and see if we... Good thing I went over here, though. That's pretty. That's a beautiful view. All right, let's uh, let's read this. Lightning flashed behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, "My hammer's up! Here's a friendly poke from Mulnir, wench!" He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. Interesting. Okay. Can we... Yeah, we can jump down there. Just take a little bit of damage. It's fine. Alright, let's, uh... Let's keep going. Alright, I'm assuming... There we go. That's what I needed to... Power up. Ooh. One is over here. Let's let's pick up these. Is that feeling we're gonna need it?
outside. Alright, let's uh... Let's keep going. Is there anything over here of use? Or a hunting rifle? Alright, I got my shotgun ready. Definitely not what I meant to hit. Cauldron Lake. The eighth deepest lake in the world, Cauldron Lake is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970. Even, even then, the underground activity was comparably mild. Despite some property damage, there are no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folk tales. It's a popular recreational area for the area residents. Gotta be getting close. Jesus. Oops. Guess we're not gonna run across it like a uh, an action hero. was uh not gonna lie didn't think we were gonna make it out of that I see a page 
Maude had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn, but there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. Yeah, well, I'm not very happy at the moment either. Alright, we gotta be getting towards the end, right? Look at how resource- Full? No! No! Okay, that's not too bad. I thought I was gonna, like, completely fall to my death and I was gonna cry. There we go. Doesn't seem like this place, uh... It's very well taken care of. Just, uh... Just an observation. Okay. So, we need to get over there, but how is the question? It's gotta be a way for me to, like, climb over or something, right? I think this is where I got stuck last time. Oh! Tom. Talk to me on the TV. I wonder what this was before, like a mansion, maybe? Alright, well, we got more flares which are actually surprisingly useful. Damn it. Okay. Maybe that's not the way to go.
shotgun. Grab that thermos we saw. Perfect. Okay. Just uh, having a lovely hike through the woods, I suppose. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Page. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. It was all a dream. Spooky. Wait! Are you? Wait! Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! Uh, no! Get away! Sorry! Please, lady! The boss didn't know who he was messing with! I didn't know! I swear, I didn't know! We don't have a wife! We don't know where she is! She's probably drowned! We just said we had her to make a play for- Excuse me? Peace out. There we go.